I'm Lauren James and today I am here to talk about my new book which is out this week. It's called The Quiet at the End of the World. This is a standalone science fiction young adult novel aimed at ages 12 plus and it is set in a world where humans can no longer have children. It's told from the point of view of Lowry and Shen, the last boy and girl born on the whole planet. So they are the youngest people in the world and they are going to grow up to watch the human race go extinct. They live in a community of much older people who look after them and make sure that the human race has a very peaceful end as we slide into extinction. Larry and Shen spend a lot of their time mudlarking along the banks of the Thames, searching for remnants of human society to try to understand the civilizations that came before them. And they struggle with what it means to represent the whole of the human race by being the last surviving members of the species. Along the way they learn more about their world and what happened after uh, humans went sterile and how the societies around the world reacted to that. They also discover a wallet in an old abandoned tube line below London and they start researching the owner, a woman called Maya, and read a lot of her old social media posts. They find her life and her posts talking to her friend Riz very fascinating. Another character in the book is their sidekick, Mitch, who is a lifeguarding robot who has been patrolling the Thames for decades, looking to see if there's anyone in danger who needs rescuing. But as there's almost nobody living there, he's not had much to do. He's very rusty and covered in lichen and just spends his time walking up and down. He can't even speak because he doesn't have the software. He can only make flashing lights that um, symbolise what he's feeling. And uh, Larry and Shen take him along on their adventures and get into a bit of mischief with him. I was inspired a lot by this little book called Seven Brief Lessons in Physics by Carlo Rovelli. This is a tiny series of essays translated into English. They just talk about some really interesting physics concepts in a very readable way. In this case, a paragraph in particular jumped out to me and inspired the novel. I believe that our species will not last long it does not seem to be made of the stuff that has allowed the turtle, for example, to continue to exist more or less unchanged for hundreds of millions of years. For hundreds of times longer, that is, than we have ever been in existence. We belong to a short-lived genus of species. All of our cousins are already extinct. What's more, we do damage. The brutal climate and environmental changes which we have triggered are unlikely to spare us. For the Earth, they may turn out to be a small, irrelevant blip. But I do not think that we will outlast them unscathed. When I was younger I used to watch the Children of Men film quite a lot because I was really fascinated by the concept even then of what would happen if the human race went extinct. The most interesting character in that film for me was the youngest person on the planet who is killed at the very start of the film in a freak accident when he's a teenager and I always wished that the film had followed his life rather than that of Clive Owen's character. One problem I did have with the film was that humanity seemed to descend into chaos and rioting and looting almost as soon as it was found out that he humanity was going extinct. This is something that happens over decades and decades as the human race gets older before we finally die off. And I thought in that time we'd be, we are clever enough and ingenious enough to have come up with a solution. So I wanted to write a more positive take on the same idea. So that's a little bit about the book. I really hope you enjoy it if you pick it up and I am very excited that it's finally out in the world. It's been a long journey to get to this point. It was probably one of the hardest books I've ever written, but I'm really proud of the end result and I am obsessed with this cover. Look at that. And just because I can't resist, here's the full set. I've written four books! When did that happen? So many things that I created and those covers, they are just getting better and better every time. So yeah. Let me know if you read it and I hope you enjoy it. Bye, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I can't. I can't do this. Enjoy. Bye.